Hello everyone, um, this is programming challenge number four, testing numbers for whether they are odd or even. So this is a really simple program that involves something new. You're going to input a number uh, into the program yourself and then the program will have a look at it and tell you if it's odd or even. Um, the code components you're going to need here is you're going to need some variables, um, ints, now remember, integers only work till 38,000, and maybe in the testing I'll I'll show you what happens if you go more than that. Um, boolean. Now you may need a boolean. A boolean is something uh, that can either be true or false, one or zero. So it's a state. Like if the light state is either high or low, you can also switch booleans. Again, I've expanded on it a fair bit already, but. Um, I don't think it's necessary for this program, but some people may want to use it. Uh, you will definitely need a serial. This command initializes the serial port. Um, serial print and serial print line print things out to the serial monitor. Um, if you put words inside um, quotation marks, then it prints out text or strings. If you put the variable names inside these brackets, then it just prints out the variable. Um, you'll need, no, you won't really need any delays. Um, you'll definitely need some if statements. And this here is a genius piece of code um, that simply says if you enter your number preceded by the letter A, um, then we can store it inside the program by saying, you know, this is the name of your variable or number variable, and you just go serial parse int. So it reads the text after A, and if it's numbers, it converts it into an integer. And finally, uh, the mathematical trick behind um, a, a, a finding if a number is even or odd is a question of if there is a remainder when uh, you divide it by 2. So this command, 10 um, percentage four is actually asking for the remainder when you divide 10 by four now the remainder is two however when you divide any number by two if it's an even number the remainder is going to be zero and i mean that is the mathematical trick to this program i'm sure you can implement it some other way this is what the output is meant to look like let me show you live so if we say a 11 your number 11 is odd. If we say A12, your number 12 is even. A158. And if we do some huge number, I'm sure it's going to throw up something weird because integers only go to about 35,000. Yeah, it didn't take the whole number, so it went to 27,000. Interesting. Okay, your turn to program it. So, were you up to the challenge? If so, paste your solution code in the comments below, and if it's really simple or original, I will feature it in the solutions video. And while you're at it, why not check out some of the other challenges? So far there are six, and surely more to come. 